Hey everyone, I'm Ashif with Softarino and you're about to see how to change your folder colors on Mac. This is what your standard folder colors look like and after this tutorial, this is what you'll have. We're going to be using an app called Folder Colorizer for Mac and it's available on the Mac App Store and if you want to check out its free trial, use the link in the description below. The trial will let you customize a handful of folders for free and if you want to see how this app stacks up against other Folder Colorizer apps, we have a video on our channel comparing many apps for this task so you can choose the right one for you. So let's check out what this app can do. Here's Folder Colorizer for Mac and to start off, let's quickly go over the customizations it offers you. Folder Colorizer allows you to choose any color you want for your folder, either from these curated colors or use the color picker. You can use the search function to search for images from the internet and it's built right into the app so you don't have to download it using Safari then paste it in. Or you can use your own images so if you have a specific photo you took and want to use it, you can. You can also choose any emoji that Apple has, so that smiley face, mind blown, hands, fruits, sports, or any other emoji that's on your iPhone, it will show up here. There are also some nice decals you can use to further customize the folders if these emojis aren't enough. And of course you can mix and match any of these features, so let's try it out right now. First drag any folder into Folder Colorizer and you can start customizing right away. Let's choose a color for this, I'll go with salmon. Now, this folder contains pictures of my dog, so let's go into emojis and look for a dog. But there are way too many emojis to scroll through, so instead we can use the search bar up top. It'll show you emojis, decals, and photos from the web. Let's choose a dog emoji. And because this folder has photos, I also want a camera decal. So let's type in camera and we can choose that. And if you notice, Folder Colorizer automatically shows you relevant customizations when you drag a folder in. So for this folder, it automatically brought up relevant emojis and the camera decal. We can continue customizing this folder by adding a background photo, but I think this looks awesome as it is, so let's finish up with this folder by pressing Colorize Folder. Let's see how far we can take this app to customize in every way possible. I want to use a photo I have. All I have to do is drag it into the app and it'll be used for this folder. But as you can see, the backside of this folder does not match, so let's fix that. Head into the color tab and let's see if any of these curated colors match the theme. Aqua seems to be a nice fit, but let's customize it further. Press this color picker icon to bring up the customization feature. We can use this to fine tune our colors. And if you're a hex color code user, go to the middle tab of this color picker, choose web safe colors, and you can browse colors by their hex code or insert your own. We can mix and match any emoji or decal to this folder, but I think it looks great right now, so I'll get rid of these customizations that I don't want by pressing this little X here. You can customize in any way you want with this app and it'll let you. So go ahead and try it out. You can find this app on the Mac App Store, but if you want to try it out for free, head to softerino.com or use the link in the description below. You'll get to customize your folders in this trial and see if this app is right for you. And since you're on a Mac, you should check out some of the other awesome apps available at softarino.com. Walter Pro is an amazing app you should definitely check out at softarino.com. It does a ton of things, but my favorite use of Walter Pro is definitely sending songs into Apple Music. So if I have songs on my computer that I want on my iPhone without an Apple Music subscription, I use Walter Pro to simply drag these songs in. And as you can see, it shows up inside of Apple Music. If you found this video awesome, make sure you leave us a like and subscribe because we post tons of awesome tips and tricks for your Apple devices. Thanks for watching. Soft Torino, tiny apps that make a gigantic difference.